Hey guys, Dave here at JDH Reptiles. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Billy, Mutation Creation. Um, if you haven't seen any of his videos, I will leave a link in the description below for his video he put out. I believe it was today. A uh, really cool video. It was an egg cutting video. So, moving on. The Dragon House Manufacturing Memorial Setup. This is the second video. Um, what I wanted to go on here was we've had this set up for about a week. I was checking temperatures and the radiant heat panel in here does do quite well. Uh, my temperatures are running really right about where I want them to be. Um, the bottom is a little cooler than I like at about 76. Uh, but, but the gradient is doing very well. So today what I'm going to do is I have torn apart all the insides of this enclosure, which is what I built a year and a half ago, or about a year ago, for my Amazon tree boa. I took out the climbing tubes, as well as all the vines, and today we're going to put those inside of this enclosure. And then on our third video, and our final video, I'm gonna do a recap in about a week and let you know how everything's going, um, as far as humidity, how the animal is um, handling the new enclosure, eating, etc. So today what I'm going to do is I've taken all these tubes, I've cleaned them, and I haven't measured them out yet, but I do want to set them in here. This one obviously is a little long, but I need to come across. So I think I'm going to measure them out and put them in one way or the other. I love do some cutting for sure. I do also have a large tree that was sitting inside of the old enclosure. And what that was actually was a fake tree I bought, a six foot fake tree. And I used the saws on and I cut it down and made it. So basically the top portion with all the leaves was the additional foliage. So that's obviously really large. This is a three foot tall enclosure and this was a two foot tall enclosure. So I'm going to have to cut that one down significantly, but that will also be put back in here, as well as these nice textured uh, fake vines. These will get wrapped in and put inside the enclosure as well. Now what I used to attach all these in the old enclosure <clears throat> was these little screws here, and I'm probably going to use the exact same thing with this enclosure. Uh, the only difference here is these screws are a little bit long. So I probably will use a, a smaller screw that I have, uh, but I do want to fix all these inside the enclosure. And since for me it's a permanent enclosure, I'm not worried about drilling a couple holes in here to, uh, to get everything mounted in place. And so I'm going to start doing that, and then we'll step back once I've got this figured out and show you how I put it together. All right, guys, well, here's where we're at. So I've got all the vines in. I've got the PVC tubes in and mounted. Uh, the snake is back in the enclosure. I'm actually just waiting for my fish tank to finish filling. So I'm doing a water change on that today too. And then I'm going to fill the water bowl, put that in inside there. And also the big tree, I just need to rinse that off because I did have that disinfecting. So that's pretty much where we're gonna be at until next week. I will update you then. Uh, one thing I will add, is some unprinted paper down on the bottom. Uh, that way it'll catch any here in her feces and I can just move it out no problem. One thing I didn't address was the LED light in this. Uh, the LED light is, if anybody can see this, it's by Reptile Basics. It's a VE 22 inch 8 watt LED light. Now this light was included I just didn't show up when I did the build. However, the light is mounted right behind the, the doors here. They have two little brackets that screw in, and then the light just snaps right into the brackets. Installation was very easy. Uh, the cord, actually, I ran the cord back and around and right out the same hole where the cord is for the, um, the heating panel. As far as light output, I mean, it does pretty well, but I'll be honest with you, in this big uh, setup here, I bought one of those really thin strip lights that you get off Amazon. 
and they just link together. You get a whole pack of it for, I think it's like eight dollars. And all it really is is an electronic strip with the little LED lights on it. Um, for eight bucks, that thing put out way more power uh, than this does, that's for sure. A lot more lighting. So it is quite possible I will either switch to the LED lighting that's in here, or I'll add a ring of LED lighting around the top. Now I do understand they don't need all the additional light, but eventually I'd like to take this out of here and put it upstairs and make it a show uh, setup, get a matching stand the whole nine yards. And if that's the case, I would like to have some really nice lighting in here. That way you can see the animal when it's moving around, uh, which right now it is exploring, which is good because it does need to shed and going around all these vines will help it do that. I will say, I want to add one more thing, and that is, I can already tell, you can see in the glass, the humidity, the humidity is going to hold substantially better in this than it did in this setup. I did miss once a day in my old setup. I'll probably still do the same thing here if I need to. Uh, with a large water bowl, I may not need to, but I do want to make sure I can keep the humidity up. So that'll be something we'll address again in a later video. So thanks again for checking in on this part two of the Dragon House uh, arboreal setup. Again, check back in about a week to 10 days and I will have the third and final installment of this and we'll discuss the pros, the cons, uh, how the snake appears to be doing and we'll go from there. Thanks again everybody.